Hello, my friends. It's Mark, the Southern Cad Man, coming to you from the year 1987. Mike Devers, in his book, said that I had a short attention span. Well, I was going to reply to that, but what the hell, let's move on to something else. It's a true story. I was once asked if I was a time traveler. My answer was yes. I'm moving forward in time one second at a time. But for the purposes of this video, I'm coming to you from the 80s and bringing to you this time capsule 1987 Cadillac Brome. My, oh my, what a joy this car has been to drive. It is truly like traveling back in time and experiencing what these cars were in their glory days. How do I display this thing? Well, maybe you can get a sense here in the low sun of, by the way, beautiful Sevierville, Tennessee. This is the wrong side to show you the mountains, actually. Well, there they are. Let's see if we can zoom in and show you what we have here. Yes, we drove this car about five and a half hours on the way here. And she performed beautifully. 87 Brome, 52,000 miles on it. And have a look. Just a stunning car. And if I can't get what I need out of these shots, I will move it into the shade. In fact, I'll probably have to, but hopefully the, the low sun will give you some sense of the beauty of this machine. Look at this. Just what you want to see. Gorgeous car, gorgeous interior. And uh, take a look at the hood. Look at that gorgeous shining lacquer paint and down the sides you can see all that original paint but wait a minute this car holds a secret much like the black brome did the one i showed you that we touched up the preservation job well we've done it again this car features original paint down the sides the doors the fenders the quarters and brand new lacquer on the header panel, the fillers, the hood, the trunk, anywhere above the pinstripes is new. Below the pinstripes is original. That's pretty much the story. And I'll tell you, the color matches beautifully. The fresh pinstripe tied it all together. And this one is standing proud. Well, what is there to say about this car? I'm going to pull it into the shade. Well, I don't know. The sun is going down. You can see the beautiful sunset just peeking over that building. I think we're going to be okay. But have a look at the quality of this paint. This was no accident. This was not luck. This was a whole lot of labor, folks. Original lacquer here. Brand new lacquer here. Hand rubbed, hand polished, wet sanded. This is about... Oh my goodness, eight to 10 coats of fresh lacquer from our friends at TCP Global. The only place I know of that you can get it anymore. And it ties this preservation project together so nicely. It was worth it. It's just something about having this paint all together and in one category, I guess you could say. The body is laser straight, as you can see down the sides. Underneath the car is beautiful. Had the opportunity since all of these emblems and reflectors were off. We got nice and polished underneath, cleaned all of these up beautifully. Well, needless to say, all of our fillers are new. Under the license plate, around the taillights. And of course, we use the polypropylene injection molded fillers. 
The only thing I didn't get to do, which I wanted to do, is I wanted to get my, my hand painted stripe on there, but my guy could not do it in time, so I went ahead and ran this, uh, this black stripe on there. Originally it was a dark gray, but I gotta tell you, I like the black. My intention was perhaps to go back to him if I had the opportunity and get him to do it over with the dark gray, but I don't think I would bother. A few other little things we did, these side strips, these side moldings, I meticulously taped off, masked off, and repainted those as well with the lacquer. They are supposed to be color keyed to the car, and you can see they match and tie in beautifully. Power antenna has been rebuilt. Everything functions like it should. The car truly drives like new. I can't overemphasize just how glossy and glorious this paint is. Look at this. And of course, since it's new, you don't have any flaws whatsoever across this header, like you normally see on the headlight bezels. This is where it takes a beating. Rock chips, bug chips, things like that. Look how nice. And polished up to a beautiful gloss. Yep, there is something to be said for lacquer paint. It has its place, and it certainly has its place in history. It's known for its high, glistening shine. This is what it looks like. Sitting on some really nice Hankook Optimo tires. The elk grain vinyl top is beautiful. No dryness, no cracking. As all of our door handles are in good presentable shape. drive this one proudly. Let's take a look inside real quick. Oh yeah. I love the matching leather interior. The color on the outside, by the way, is called pearl gray. So I'm going to assume the interior is pearl gray. Original leather, never touched, never repaired never needed it. You can see I have a beautiful steering wheel here to show you. No cracks, no wood missing. That is one of my sticking points. I love to see a very nice original steering wheel and there it is. The door panels, perfect, original, never repaired. No big elbow prints pushing in on the upper door panels. You look at the wind sweeps. Original, beautiful condition. The car is whisper quiet going down the road, as you can see. Never any trouble with the weather stripping. There's never been any attempts to break into this car or recover locked in keys. No one's ever tried to fish anything out with a coat hanger, and that's normally what tears this up. You see that. back seat is going to show just as nicely as the front and this leather is kid glove soft especially when it warms up it's actually a very pleasant day today but it's probably in the neighborhood of 50 55 degrees but when it's warm this is some of the softest leather in one of these cars I have experienced just beautiful condition the headliner is new that was replaced by my trusty headliner guy. And let's sit in this car, get out of the wind, and have a look around. As you can see, of course, our door panel is beautiful. The carpet is very nice. Pan across here, you'll see the dashboard, the cluster, everything nice and brilliant. The faux wood shining as it should. You see over here the reflection of the door light in the glove box dash free of any sort of cracks or warping just like it should be the original stereo plays beautifully 
as I said, the power antenna has been refurbished. Fishing around for the key here. I have two sets of gold keys for this car. One was a set that they used. The other is still almost like new. 307, Olds engine runs just beautifully. Very smooth and sufficiently powerful. This car was no slouch, slouch at all. Had to climb a mountain to get up here. It performed beautifully in no, in no time at all that I feel underpowered. And let's see, the clock is accurate. Power antenna, again, working like it should. There it goes. I have not tried the tape player. I cannot comment on whether or not that works. Carpet's very clean. You can see we have the stick down plastic mask to protect the carpet under our feet since we are using the car. So nice, such a pleasant environment. And as you close yourself in, the doors shut just like a vault. What a fun car this is. And to look out over the hood, that brand new paint, so satisfying. Very, very satisfying. I'm not going to go far. Let's just tootle around the parking lot for a moment. The trunk, I'm afraid, is full of my luggage and such. I really don't want to get into that, so take it from me. It's in good shape. The original trunk liner is there. The trunk mat. The original spare tire and cover. All of that is intact. Under the hood, I have not really detailed, although it looks pretty presentable. We can pop that and show you what the 307 looks like. But yes, it's a very, very nice, soft, smooth ride. And uh, many of you know my opinion about the 307 cars. I think they are some of the smoothest driving bromes they made. Very enjoyable, very smooth and relaxing to drive. And again, this one has the power. 52,000, actually showing 51,929. Just say 52,000 miles. And uh, it leaves nothing to be desired in the way it drives and handles. Very nice car. We're just gonna, we're not gonna go too far. But, uh, Whisper quiet going down the road. No wind noise whist whistling past any of the door sweeps or the or the windows at all. Uh, and hopefully we can get a little view. There we go. There's that beautiful mountain. You can see that. Very nice. So give me a like, a subscribe if you like seeing cars like this. If you have one of these, if you've owned a 307 Cadillac, tell me your thoughts. I think there's a, there's been some conflation going on about uh, the 307 cars and some of the other engines. The 5 liter 307 engine is very stalwart, very reliable. It's not the fuel injected 5 liter, it's a carbureted, it's an electronically controlled carbureted engine. But they were very trustworthy, very reliable. And you have to look at, the, at these cars in the context of their time. That's what was available. When the 307 Olds was put in these bromes, people applauded. People celebrated that. Getting away from that 4100, getting into a more traditional, reliable engine, old school, carburetor, cast iron block. These were good engines. I owned one of these very cars back in... Oh gosh, it was 1991. I've talked about it before. And uh, again, this car reminds me so much of that one. We'll pull over here where it's, uh, there's some shade. Do one more walk around. I'll give you a peek under the hood. I'll leave it running this time. I'll pop the hood. Okay. You can see, of course, the bright work, the switch, the switch gear, all in great shape. See the carpet. I mean, and I'm going to get really, really close to this leather, and hopefully this is coming out. I don't have my reading glasses on, so my eyes aren't focusing as well as the camera is. But you can see the condition of this car. 
so much fun. Ah, oh, there she is again. Look at that. Get up under here and uh, if I can do it with one hand. There's the 307. I haven't really uh, done a great detail under here, to be honest with you. It's still a little dusty. It just needs a touch, touch up here and there, but functioning as it should. The color is pearl gray. Um, reminiscent or very very similar to uh, what's called nardo gray with my chrysler in fact uh, just today i was in back right behind the nardo gray challenger or charger and the colors are very close nardo gray is just a little bit darker but the same idea this color is very relevant very impressive if you remember the 89 i had the same color I was constantly getting comments on uh, how nice the car looked, how striking the color was. And this is the spitting image of that car on the outside. But we have leather this time. One more look at this supple interior. Embroidered wreaths, beautiful, all the welting. These were put together so nicely. The light gray seats against the darker gray dash really gives a two-tone effect that is, uh, is really nice, very appealing. I get, a, you know, we're, we're turning a lot of these bromes loose, bringing them back up to their glory. If you're interested in one, give me a call. Uh, maybe we can put something together. My number is 919-948-5980. Southern Cadman, my name is Mark. Have a great one.